Thank you everyone for attending. We're UK and Cut Liverpool and we're here to protest against the terrible coverage of the protest last weekend. And in particular with regards to UK and Cut, the BBC have made us look like a bunch of reckless, drunken, violent hooligans. And we're here to set the record straight and show you just how civilised you are. Which the BBC obviously misunderstand UK and Cut. So we're here to show you how peaceful the occupations are. And we'll be having a lovely tea party. Thank you. Yeah, it's not anything to do with them either, like... Nice cakes, don't they? Yeah. Cupcakes are the in thing. Yeah. 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 This is a message to the police. Please support this demonstration as the government are coming after your jobs too. Ask yourselves, what are you defending these days? Your 20% pay cut? You can keep your 20%. Come with us. This would never happen if I ran the country. <laughs> Just a scenario because, like, for once, we are fully allowed to go. Like, we're actually thankful to be going. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Liverpool and uh, we felt after the BBC's uh, coverage of the demonstration in London last weekend which I and all these people here felt was absolutely disgraceful uh, especially with regards to you and Kane Cut that we'd um, that obviously we thought the BBC didn't understand uh, what kind of occupation and what kind of group UK and Cut are so we thought we'd come and show them firsthand um, what a UK and Cut occupation is like and exactly how peaceful it is. As you can see here there's uh, no violence going on, no destruction of property it's just uh, a few people having a nice sophisticated afternoon tea party. And what, what do you hope that this will achieve? 
Well, I hope it'll encourage the uh, the BBC to publish the news and not just speculation. I mean, I remember watching when I got back from the demonstration on the night of the 26th, um, a reporter saying, well, I assume that, you know, these people in Trafalgar Square had gone away to pubs and got tanked up on lots and lots of booze and drugs, and now they're going to come back and be violent terrorists. And I just think this is this guy's opinion, though. It's just speculating about what might have gone on. When in, I, I know a few people who are in Trafalgar Square who said it was very peaceful, no one was drunk. Uh, you know, and it, it passed very peacefully until a police snatch squad, uh, squad came in and tried to haul someone out. And when people tried to protect him, the riot police used that as an excuse to pile the whole squad in and, uh, and start arresting people, basically. So, uh, yeah, so how did the kind of overall experience of the day differ from the, the bit that was reported? How do you mean? I mean, because it was quite a long day, wasn't it? So, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, for example, the BBC had a reporter inside Fulton and Mason, so he was giving them an interview with no uh, visuals, just sound, and so the BBC, well, this interview about Fulton and Mason's is going on, had pictures of people in masks smashing up banks and fighting police officers. Uh, and I just think that's not what I was outside for on the Masons. It was very peaceful. There were people chanting and waving flags. The people on the roof uh, were just waving flags instead of. Um, you know, I don't condone graffiti myself, but instead of graffitiing with spray paint, they graffitied with chalk. So it was simply wipe off the walls, you know. So the clean up operation kind of cost more than five pounds. So what, what about the group then? Who are UK and Cook? Who are the people here today? Um, at UK and Cut, we started off about six months ago uh, protesting against corporate tax dodging. Um, and ever since, we've been identifying stores that avoid uh, tax either legally or illegally, and we go and protest outside there. Oh, look, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And as you can see, nothing violent about cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Just one final thing. I mean, were any of the people here arrested last week? Um, I'm not really at liberty to say.